this week in the field, what is a leveling base and why you might want one. Hey everybody, I'm Scott Davenport. Welcome to In The Field. Before I start on today's topic of leveling bases, very quickly, I've opened up some new workshops toward the end of 2017. And if you are interested, head over to my website, get on the reserve list. The uh, workshops have been very popular. I know it's a great problem to have when you sell out. It makes me feel sad I can't bring everyone. But if you'd like to come shoot with me, I'd sure like to shoot with you. Head on over, get yourself on the reserve list. It's kind of like saving your place in line and hopefully we'll be shooting together. So today talking about leveling bases for your tripod, uh, this, uh, this thing that's looming up here in the background behind me. You know, what are they and how do they work? Now, it's a little cramped for me to show that behind the desk. So let's move to a different spot in the studio and I give you a little better look at how this thing works. So a leveling base for your tripod, what is it? It's a small piece of gear that sits between your ball head and the rest of your tripod. And here it's got this little swivel ring here and it comes down with a handle that lets me loosen and tighten the base. Now, why do I even care about using this? Really for panoramas, that's when I use it the most. If I'm using, or I'm just taking a single shot, I'm just gonna use the ball head, loosen it up, get the camera level, based on the level in the camera, tighten it, and I'm good to go. As soon as I wanna do a sweep across of a scene, I want the base, my tripod, to be flat and level. So when I go stitch all those pano shots together, I don't end up with those telltale empty spaces in the right hand, left hand corners. It means I'm gonna to have to throw away decent portion of the image. And if I have a nice level base, I'm gonna get a much cleaner sweep and I'll end up with a better stitch. So how does the base work? Let's do a little simulation here. Let's pretend we're shooting on a hill and we'll skew these tripod legs pretty drastically. So we're certainly not level. On the bottom, there's a little handle. I twist that, and now I can rotate the camera around until I get this level that's on the leveling base. Not the level that's on your tripod, not the level that's in your camera, the level bubble that's in the base until I get that about centered. And then I can retighten with a little quarter turn. And now I can level my camera. Now the base is level, camera's level. I can do a pan out sweep and I'm good to go. And as things shift, it's just a quick matter of twist, adjust, twist again, as opposed to starting to play around with the legs. So that's fundamentally how it works. It's uh, certainly a speed up mechanism to getting a nice level base. And again, this is especially useful if you're doing panos. Now, of course, there's different styles, price ranges, models of leveling bases, and you'll need to get one that fits your tripod. Uh, something that I decided between uh, two leveling bases that I was looking at. I ended up getting kind of a short one. You can see that handle is pretty short. And uh, I did that so that it wouldn't compromise getting very low with the tripod. When I extend the legs all the way out, that handle only comes down about two and a half inches. So I wasn't going to lose any of my ability to get very low to the ground. Um, conversely, it's sometimes a little difficult to get my hand up in there and do the little twist, but it was a compromise I was willing to make. Now there are other models too where the handle's a little bit longer. There also could be a hook on there to hang something or to weigh down your tripod. So if you like you know, hanging things on your tripod to weigh it down, take a look at getting a leveling base that also has that hook mechanism. And the tip of the week, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? Leveling base, check them out, especially if you do panos. That was really what uh, tipped me to getting a leveling base. When I'm doing single shots, I rarely use it. When I do panos, I'm using it all the time now. And I find that I'm more amenable to shooting a pano because I don't have the leveling hassle of playing in a whack-a-mole with getting all the different legs to line up perfectly so I've got a decent uh, sweep across of the scene. And that will do it for this week in the field. Hope you've enjoyed it. And let me know what you think. Let me know what else you'd like to hear about. I'm trying to mix it up a little bit with field work, field related things like uh, bits of gear uh, or techniques for shooting. I would like to hear what you are either struggling with or trying to get better at with your photography. Maybe I can help out and uh, maybe you can help me out too. That's kind of the, the whole point. We get to exchange information and become better together. Well, until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Happy shooting. Tighten it up, I'm good to go. As soon as I want to take a sweep of shots, damn it. <laughs>
thing over. <laughs> All right, watch that.